Hi, Hiram here. Last week I did a video on this uh, Jet Boil Crunch It tool. This is a tool used for punching holes in butane canisters so that you can recycle them or throw them away. Since I did that video, I received a couple of questions that I thought I should answer, but unfortunately my buddies have been borrowing my tool, this tool, to uh, fix up their canisters. So I just got it back from them, and I thought I'd do a quick video here. Uh, one of the big questions that I've had from people is, why buy a tool like this? It's basically just a church key. Why can't I use a church key? Well, for those of you that don't know, this is a church key. has the same kind of shape on it, that puncher thing. But the, bit, the problem is... Uh, the crunch it tool punches holes on the top because it screws into the outlet valve, which that's another whole thing, but there's nothing for this to grip onto. Now you could possibly grip on here and punch into the side or on the bottom and punch into it. But the problem that comes in with that is I think when they want to see this recycled, they want the holes on the top where it can easily be seen by anybody, not have to go searching for the holes. But what I'm going to try here is I saved this canister. I was going to play with it because it just has a shape that kind of makes you want to do something with it. But what I'm going to do is try a church key. Now, my suggestion is don't use your kitchen church key. This will just upset your wife to no end. Get yourself a different church key, something that's just used for this. Because if there is liquid in here, it's going to contaminate the tool, and I wouldn't want to be using this to open up my beer anymore. Not to open up beer with these anymore, but that was what it was used for. So, let's see what happens. Now, one step back, though. When you have a, have a canister that you think is empty, you don't, how do you know it's really, truly empty? That's the nice thing with the crunch it tool. It threads onto the outlet valve, just like so all the way down there's a hole I don't know if you'll be able to see it there's a whole little hole right there so as you thread it on if there's any gas in here it'll come out so do this outside in the open air if it lasts they say if it lasts more than a couple of seconds unscrew it it's not empty now yes you could go and haul out your pocket rocket stick this on here open up the valve and see if it's empty but for a couple of bucks what's wrong with this so anyway you this is empty so let's see what happens with a church key I'll do one from the side huh hang on wow that took a little push there was hardly anything to push on the top why is that? Let me try it again. Wow, that takes... I mean, it can be done, but it takes considerable force. Let's see what happens on the bottom. Nope. Huh. I'm sorry, that is surprising. I thought it would... Wow. Forget the bottom. That must be much thicker. Even the side is fairly hard to do. Can be done. Let me just show you real quick on this. All you do is, like I said, you thread it on to the outlet valve here. And oh, now I'm getting all nervous. Just thread it on. You might hear a little th So there it's just sitting like that. Uh, I already have a hole there, so I just move it a little bit to the side. Oops. Might help to take the cover off. There's a protective cover for the point. So you just stick it there, and it just goes right in. Much easier than it did on the side. Turn it a little bit, and it just goes right in. So this acts like a fulcrum up here. It's a bigger fulcrum, I guess, than what you have 
on the small church key. So, as far as I'm concerned, and my buddies too, they only use this one until they can get their own. I should have picked up a pile of them when I was at Cabela's. For under $6, if you go through a lot of canisters, I say get it. If you can find one somewhere, like I said, this cost me 6 bucks. I think it's only like 6 or $7 for the list price. But uh, I think this is worth it, especially if you go through a lot of canisters. I don't, but I did have one or two here that had to be gotten rid of. So in my mind, I'd go with the Crunch It, the Jet Boil Crunch It tool. Let's see if we can get it up here closer. Jet Boil Crunch It tool over a church key. You can do it with a church key. Looks like I flattened out that hook. You can do it with a church key, but why bother? So anyway, that's just my opinion. Uh, if you have them, just go with the Jet Boil church key. So anyway, I hope that answers people's questions. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.